Ukraine Today is talking about decentralization reform. And today we have a guest who is an expert in promoting the decentralization reform in Ukraine, Mr. Dmitry Vasilyev. Mr. Vasilyev, welcome to Ukraine Today. Hello. Mr. Vasilyev, we've been talking to various experts on decentralization and all of them almost in unison say that there isn't enough information about this reform. So can you tell us what exactly is being done to promote the decentralization reform in Ukraine? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I think uh, there is uh, pretty much information about decentralization and uh, uh, we can actually count on some spe a specific focus group which was carried out twice. First time it was in 2014 and second time in 2014, uh, excuse me, 15 uh, by Swiss Ukrainian project Despro on decentralization. Uh, we can actually see that there is a huge progress in uh, first uh, information that people understand about decentralization and second actually they say that there are a pretty better flow of information, a flow of information which they receive on a daily or monthly basis. It's first. Uh, second, uh, of course this is pretty complicated uh, reform. It's uh, very complicated and some sort of abstract issue and it is uh, not very easy and not simple uh, to explain people how they will benefit from the reform in their daily life unless they feel and touch that. Uh, and because of that, of course, you know, it causes a little kind of difficulties on the first stand. Uh, secondly, uh, what we've done, we've done a lot of activities on the internet. And we've done a lot of activities on uh, public and experts dialogue uh, with uh, different advocacy projects. Uh, but of course, all this discussion, it, it is mostly discussion on the level of experts and people who tend to reflect on different issues of the reforms, including decentralization. And when we think about the uh, uh, ground level of people in villages, in small towns, even in bigger towns, uh, but who actually doesn't uh, see too much of experts' problems, programs or uh, talk shows or any kind of discussions, you know, they get uh, to films, entertainment and all this kind of stuff, you know, it is uh, most importantly to think how to get to their level, how to catch them with information what they can benefit from the reform and start discussing with them whether they think we are going to the right direction. And this is a big challenge. Well, so Mr. Vasilov, that's exactly what was my question. How do these people on the ground, on the ground level, as you, uh, as, you, as you refer to them, get this information about this decentralization. Because basically, it's all about those people living in the communities, those people living in small towns and villages, to tell them, to explain to them why this reform will be beneficial for them. Why do they need to uh, amalgamate with, with other communities? Why do they need to, 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 to cancel, to abandon their own village council and, and have one village council for several people. So what is being done for these people? Because obviously they don't have too much access to the internet. They're not watching some sophisticated talk shows or programs. So how do these ordinary people living in the villages get to know about what is happening in this reform? Mm -hmm. um, well, actually, uh, again, uh, coming back to the point of focus groups, which I've been telling about, um, uh, we've done very good activities in terms of internet uh, access uh, uh, of the reform to, to people. So uh, we understood that actually all those governmental or Verkhovna Rada sites, they, uh, they are not read by people. So we decided to create, first of all, we decided to, cre uh, to create a specific website uh, in a modern way uh, with a very simple uh, inf uh, verbalization of the reform, very user-friendly and very pictures uh, called Decentralization Gov UA. Uh, so that first what we've done. Second, on the basis of this website, we created four uh, accounts in social groups and main account in Facebook. And we noticed that uh, uh, anyhow, you know, this is something which already showed the result because, uh, you know, 2014 research and 2015 research shows a huge progress in that what people get. But now coming to these uh, villages and especially well, to the issue of amalgamation of the communities, uh, we understand that uh, uh, the most easy way to get to the people is advertisement. And uh, to, uh, uh, as, as, as already told, it is really difficult to get a very simple 
bullet points, uh, simple uh, headlines, simple messages, uh, simple slogans, which will get to the people on, uh, on, uh, with the instrument of, uh, of uh, usual advertisement. So it is a big work which we are doing right now. We are doing it together with uh, Cabinet of Ministers, with Minister, uh, Minister of Regional Development, who is responsible for the reform. Uh, with the, uh, with people so, Mr. Vesel, what is being done to advertise? So how do you sell the decentralization reform to the we people just, living in the smallest we're villages? Almost, we're, we're almost ready to start. Because uh, the advertisement campaign is prepared, uh, we invited uh, uh, a creative agency which had developed a very good campaign. Uh, this campaign has been discussed among the uh, people t who are taking decisions and expert community. It is uh, very much uh, will be redone right now because you know there are a lot of. Uh, uh, reflections that perhaps this is not the best way to communicate the reform to people. So now on the, uh, it is a huge discussion uh, in the Ministry of Regional Development with experts and communications experts to uh, polish this campaign and just to begin to start. So we are ready to start very soon. We already uh, collected some money from international community, uh, interna uh, from donors, uh, international donors. We uh, we, Mr. Vasily, can you provide us some insights, maybe open, reveal some secrets, mm -hmm. how, what this you know, advertisement campaign will be about, how it will try to reach the, the people in the uh, part of these villages. Know, are we talking about billboards? Are we talking yeah. TV advertisement? Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? Yeah, mainly we're talking about billboards and, uh, and about posters. Because, uh, you know, the first phase is uh, the most important issue we want to bring to the level of uh, villages and small communities. We would like to explain what is their benefit from amalg uh, amalgamation of the communities. And the first message will be sent to them. So it will be villages, small towns, and you know, those communities who are reflecting about uniting their efforts to uh, build a better future together. So the first uh, emphasis will be done to them with the focus of what you can benefit from amalgamation of the communities, how you can develop your plans for development, and how, uh, how you can actually, on, on your level of villages and uniting villages or communities of those villages to make the reform on the ground basis. Mr. Vasiliev, uh, changing the topic a little bit, uh, let's talk about the Constitution. There has been a lot of talk about the need to change the Constitution. Just a few days ago, Ukrainian Parliament adopted the package of laws uh, which is necessary to, to, to introduce the changes into the Constitution. The package of laws has been adopted in the first reading. And a lot of people were criticizing uh, these laws, uh, mainly because they provide for a special status to the occupied territories in Donbass. So, in your opinion, as the, as the expert, are these changes beneficial for Ukraine or not? I think these changes are extremely beneficial for Ukraine because, you know, those changes in, in, in the Constitution will allow uh, the reform to be done uh, in complete session, I would say. Because uh, without the changing of the main law, that could be difficult to make sure that the reform will be finalized in some period of time. It's first. Second, talking about uh, you know all these critics you've been t uh, telling about, uh, I think this critics is a little bit exaggerated because when you look to the document which was uh, adopted a couple of days ago in the parliament, uh, uh, you know it is not told in this document uh, any word about Donbas or Lugansk or some uh, or some any other uh, territories of Ukraine. It, it is told that you know some uh, specific uh, specific territories uh, territories can be can benefit from this uh, uh, from this item in the constitution on the basis of the future law to be uh, to be uh, to be passed in the parliament. Also, uh, talking about the changes to, to the Ukrainian laws, uh, recently a new law on local elections has been passed by the Ukrainian parliament. The local elections are scheduled for the coming October of this year. How much this law, this new law, is, is better in terms of the overall concept of decentralization reform? Is it in conformity with the overall concept? Or obviously, maybe you believe that some more changes, something better could have been done, could have been introduced into this law? Uh, you know, we can't expect that uh, we'll have any kind of ideal situation here in this country. Ukraine is not ideal at all. But, you know, the law which was adopted in the parliament and uh, will be a basis for uh, election uh, in October is, uh, is, is the best what we can imagine for this period of time of our development in this country. So I think this law uh, helps to, uh, to realize the uh, reform uh, and make sure that actually a new uh, 
deputies on, uh, on, uh, uh, which are elected by communities will uh, create their own uh, kind of local governments and they will uh, lead the communities to, you know, to the better development and that will be their responsibility and those deputies will never be uh, claiming the uh, uh, central power that they put anybody from, uh, from the center to administrating the local territories and they don't give money there. So I understood. Well, Mr. Vasily, it looks like you are very optimistic about I'm the optimistic new legislation about, which I'm Ukraine is, yeah. being, uh, is adopting. Mr. Vasily, many thanks for coming to us and talking to us. This was Volodymyr Solohu for Ukraine Today, together with the advocacy expert in promoting decentralization reform in Ukraine, Mr. Dmitry Vasiliev. Thank you for watching us.